Hi, my name is James Haber, and we at Cornell Mars Rover are excited to unveil this year's rover, Valkyrie. Cornell Mars Rover is an interdisciplinary project team composed of over 40 undergraduate members. Our team is split up into six different sub-teams with members organized by discipline. The task sub-team is responsible for developing the rover's robotic arm and drill. The drive sub-team oversees development of the rover's suspension, wheels, frame, and decor. The electrical sub-team works on all aspects of the electrical components, including the rover's communication, electronics design, and embedded firmware. The software sub-team operates rover controls and designs the autonomous systems. The science sub-team oversees Martian and MDRS research and onboard sensor selection for the science task. And finally, the business sub-team is in charge of team finances, web and presentation design, and both public and sponsor outreach. We periodically review our designs to ensure that Valkyrie follows URC mass and monetary budgets. The academic year is split into three development periods. A design phase from August to November, a manufacturing phase from November to February, and a testing phase from February to May. Based on our performance in last year's extreme retrieval and delivery task and autonomous traversal task, we have dramatically modified the mechanical design in order to excel in this year's competition. The Frame and Electronics core team has implemented a complete overhaul of the subsystem. By drastically decreasing the size of the electronics core, we were able to move towards a box frame design, which allows increased strength of the system. This also provides robustness to vibration while allowing significant mass cuts and increased flexibility of design, both for the arm base and the suspension systems. The task sub team has designed to meet all the requirements necessary to excel in the revamped equipment servicing task. The end effector joint uses belts to open and close the claw to ensure the motor and gears are not over torqued. The claw is also coated with neoprene tape to increase the grip, which will be instrumental when Valkyrie is using the wrench and screwdrivers. We are also using 3D printed claws to deal with more complex geometries. Due to its 6 degrees of freedom, the arm is more dexterous and will be able to deal with the more complex tasks. It has also been designed to reduce slosh in the joints in order to increase the accuracy of the sensor readings which will be important when using inverse kinematics. This year, we improved Valkyrie's electrical and software systems in order to make them more reliable and easier to operate. On the rover, each subsystem is controlled by a PIC32 microcontroller, which manages all sensors and motors for that subsystem and communicates with the central board using a CAN bus. The central board receives commands from the rover's computer and NVIDIA Jetson TX2 via a UART connection. The Jetson provides significant computing power in a small package. It runs the robot operating system on top of Ubuntu. Our software handles CamerStream's teleoperation as well as more advanced operations during the autonomous and equipment servicing tasks. For the autonomous task, the rover uses GPS, inertial measurements, LiDAR, and computer vision in order to reliably navigate rough terrain to the tennis ball marker. For the equipment servicing task, the rover uses inverse kinematics to automatically perform complex actions, such as typing on the keyboard. In order to make the rover easy to operate, we've designed a brand new web-based interface which displays a live map of the rover's position. The rover communicates with the base station using a 2.4 GHz transceiver and two omnidirectional antennas. This system is capable of communicating over ranges in excess of one kilometer, even when the line of sight is partially obstructed. To determine the habitability of a site, Valkyrie collects a soil sample and analyzes the surrounding environment for conditions favorable to life. The onboard sensors determine the presence of water and the composition of the rock based on geologic structures and reflecting wavelengths. The sensors also measure the soil's temperature and humidity. The rover uses ultraviolet light to preliminarily identify minerals that could be present in the sample. Lab tests determine the composition of the soil and the presence of nutrients or organic compounds that may exhibit signs of the potential for life. A polarizing microscope is used to analyze the mineralogical makeup of the sample. From now until competition, the team will focus on testing the rover. Each member is assigned to a testing team that prepares the rover for an individual URC task. The team will additionally partake in three mock competitions. At mock competitions, we travel off campus to simulate the entirety of the URC in one day. These allow the competition teams to practice in time-constrained competitions to fully prepare us to excel in the University Rover Challenge. Valkyrie and the rest of the team are just about ready for competition and we hope to see you in Utah.